What's up guys, Jimmy here. So I wanted to chime in on the new beach bars because I see a lot of coaches and people and marketing out there who are just rattling off the front of the package and that's fine for marketing and it will work for a lot of people unfortunately. Uh, but I wanted to chime in and give my own original, hopefully, thoughts on what 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 these things are all about and will they work for you are they even a good replacement for what's already in the market uh just because and i say this because you you guys know i'm a beach body coach and i love beach body i love their products but i am still skeptical of everything people put out because i don't trust anyone that that doesn't do their research on a product no matter who puts it out Right, even if it's my own company, if they put it out, I'm still gonna do research on it. I believe there are pros and cons to everything. And somebody who just thinks like, this is all the greatest things in the world, it's hard for someone like that to be trusted, in my opinion. So, <laughs> uh, the beach bars, I took a look at them. Now, I will tell you first, I was not a big fan that we were doing bars. Uh, I was not, uh, just because I think there's tons of them out there. Uh, I, I'm not a big bar person myself. Uh, so this wasn't something that I was like really grasping onto, uh, but I, I had to stop and say, hey, this isn't about me, it's about my customers, it's about other people, can this help them? Can this help their lives? And so I, I looked at it and I said, well, I have to start with, all right, let's look at our nutritional facts, right? I don't read the front of any packages. Hopefully we've all learned that by now, but if you still haven't, uh, boom, take that, use that. Uh, <laughs> that was, was that creepy? And, and so, uh, I had to look at the back of the package. I said, okay, all right, here's what we got. Now, let's go to some of the most popular bars out there. Let's look at the ones that uh, I have tried, I haven't tried, and, and so I kind of took a small sampling of about five or six bars and said, okay, let's look at these other nutrition facts. Now, I had to step back for a second before I did all that, and I said, well, why do people have bars to begin with? What's the real purpose of the bar? So, if you don't realize the real purpose of the bar, it is to be a replacement for crappier options. It's not a perfect food and it's not fast food. It's kind of in the middle. So if you're using bars as a meal every single day, you know, I don't know your specific situation, but I, I, would, I would coach you into not doing that and just saying, hey, these are used on rare occasions when location is a problem, time is a problem, or whatever it is, and you have no other options. Even fasting is an option, and it's okay to fast every now and then, but this is for those rare times, in my opinion. Again, you might have something specific, and that's okay. So knowing that, knowing that these are used on rare occasions, you're not supposed to have them every single day, like you would Shakeology or something, or you know, a protein powder, like a performance line, whatever it might be, those are a daily thing, these are not. So then I looked, okay, Let's look at these other bars and, and take a look at them. Now, unfortunately the consumer, myself included, I think of these as protein bars, even though they're really not. If you look at uh, the, the most popular brands out there, I was noticing that the, I usually look at the protein to carb ratio. The protein to carb ratio on most things was one to two, sometimes one to three. Now that tells me that they're putting in twice as many carbs, sometimes three times, into their body when they're taking, or at least thinking they're taking a protein bar. Like, oh my God, so people are now paying extra money to put fat on their waistlines, essentially. You know, myself included, I'm like, oh my God, like, are they all like this? So I looked at the protein bar, I looked at ours, the, the beach bars, and I noticed it was a one to, like a 1.4 ratio, so closer to 1.1. Um, I said, okay, that's an improvement. That's a big improvement. Like, I, I don't care that, I'm sorry, I just don't care that Beachbody says that there's 10 grams. I care about the ratio, right? 10 grams doesn't mean anything to me if the carbs are 50, right? But it's more of a one-to-one. -one. It's 10 to 14, I believe, give or take. It's like, oh, okay, I'm starting to get it now. You're starting to buy me over. If all these other companies are having like 10 grams of protein to 20, 26, 30 grams of carbs, you know, these poor people are, 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 are thinking that they're eating some kind of healthy snack when, they're just delaying their results, their fat loss results, what they really want. And so the other things didn't even come to play yet, you know, gluten-free, that's on you, you know, if that's your thing or not, uh, which I believe ours are. Uh, and then you look at sugar content, 
right now. I, I believe sugar is getting more of a worse name than it really is nowadays. I believe everyone's fixated on it uh, instead of still the actual problem. We want to fixate on these little holes in the pipe, in, pipe instead of just replacing the entire pipe. And, uh, and so ours has six grams of sugar, uh, which can easily be burned off. Me personally, this is just my rule. You have your own. Uh, anything under 10, I just don't really worry about. But some of these other bars, again, I mean, some of them had 16, 18, 20, 26, even more. I think one had 29 grams of uh, sugar in it. Jeez almighty, this is just a sugar bar. You might as well go have a Snickers bar at this point. Like, what's, why? Why even think you're eating healthy? Just enjoy the Snickers bar and, and get your cheat meal over. Uh, and then, you know, it always comes down to price and value. Um, you know, I, I believe ours is coming in around everybody else's price. You know, Coach is about $2 and, and uh, customer price is like two sixty seven or something. Uh, I haven't factored in shipping handling or whatnot, you know, so you can factor that in that, you know, a bar is this much out there, but you got to pay gas to get there. Uh, so that's really all up to you and what you think. But especially if you're using this thing every day, I mean, you got to consider value. But I already told you, you probably shouldn't be using this every single day. Um, and then one thing that I like that I haven't thought about in a while, and uh, it's nothing that I, I really ever shared, is I like being in the ecosphere of Beachbody. I really do, you know? Whether you're a coach, uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, a coach is just kind of a discount member who can also run a business. Like myself, I run a business because I, I prefer to, but I don't have to. Um, is it's kind of nice to find a company that I trust. At least I, I trust, I did my research, you have to do the same thing for yourself. But it's nice to be in their ecosphere. Because I remember shopping around for products all the time. I'm like, okay, I need to get a pre-work from over here. I trust this company over here, but I don't like this. And then over here, there's this, and there's a sale over here. And there's... it was just too much. And so I like being in the ecosphere of Beachbody. Not only do I save 25% off all their stuff, but they have mostly everything. They're, they're, I, I wish we had BCAAs, I really do. And, and I would assume that they're coming in the line. It's, I'm not putting anything out there. I don't know any information. I would assume they're coming down the line. They are included in some of our stuff, but I would like just that. Uh, so, you know, I, I looked at all these other bars and I looked at what we're putting out there and, and I am a fan. Uh, you know, the other bar that I, I, I enjoyed in the past and I have actually worked for that company for a little bit uh, was Quest uh, Bars. You know, I gave up their stuff, <laughs> the, the fairs and other things. And I, I do like their bars. Now, I know a lot of people uh, disagree with, uh, it has a, a minute amount of sucralose in it. If that's an ingredient that you were just not a fan of, I'm really not a fan of that ingredient. I will have it from time to time. Uh, but overall, I do not agree with that ingredient. Uh, and then some of them have like erythritol uh, and other sugar alcohols, which now I'm doing a little bit more research. From my research, I found that it can just cause some like, bloating and stuff. And I found uh, that that's just something that I don't need. Um, so, so Quest, again, I, I, I don't like someone who doesn't give you other options and just says, you gotta buy from my company. And, and I'm not like that. I believe that Quest is one of the only other options uh, that is decent out there. Uh, you might have your own opinions. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to get on and share, you know, kind of my talking points about Beachbody, especially since the bar is around 150 calories. It puts it just above a snack, right below kind of a, a low calorie meal for me, meaning that people can have it and easily build it into their meal plans, especially if fat loss is your goal. Uh, because some of these bars had 200, 250, 300, and now you're getting into meal territory. So if you're like, oh, I'm having this as a snack, like, yeah, but your snack is actually really raising your totally total calorie count for the day, which is keeping you from your goals and you have to watch that. You have to build it in, you have to factor it in like right away. So hopefully uh, if you're having those type of bars, you are. So I wanted to kind of do this quick vlog about this and share my thoughts uh, and, and see maybe what you had to say. Uh, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, it's fine. And uh, anyways, I hope some of this helps you make a decision on what's gonna be right for you. Uh, remember, determine your goals first, then find uh, the supplementation, the meal plans, whatever it might be to get you towards that goal. Don't figure out the supplements, the meal plan, all that without first just saying, what do I want? Like, what's my goal? Uh, don't do that in reverse. There's one way and there's one path. Uh, I truly, truly believe in that. Uh, and uh, it will keep you on point, focused, and getting to what you need to do. Hope this helps you. Uh, I gotta go get back to work. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.